Hello guys, welcome back to Jazz Tutorials. So this week we're doing another cool text effect. Um, it's going to be a water drop text effect. Basically the effect we're going for is making it look as if your text is all watery and spilled and stuff. Kind of like that kind of thing. And I'll show you towards the end another variation take on this. Where you could also turn it into glitter glue. Um, so yeah. It can be morphed into two types of tutorials, into one. Alright, let's start with the background. Um, I'm just using this random texture that I have on my computer in the background, but you guys can totally use anything you like. It doesn't matter. I just went with this because it was there, so why the hell not? Um, Alright, so start with your text. Um, now, I want you might want to, you want to use more of a liquidy type of font. Um, the only liquid type font that I have on my computer currently is a font called Bessie. And we used this way back when we did the ketchup um, and mustard text effect. Um, I believe you can find the Bessie font on dafont.com. But if you guys have like um, a more watery-ish, spilled paint-like font, you can use that too. But just, yeah, you get what I'm saying, right, guys? I'm being confusing, I think, maybe. All right, so once you have your type, your text typed, um, you're going to, of course, make it a fill zero. But this is what my font looks like when it's typed out. I just chose white as a color, but it doesn't matter because you're going to get rid of the color anyway. So if you use black or whatever, don't worry about it. So set your fill layer to zero. And then on that layer, double click it. We're going to add a crap ton of effects to this, so be on alert and pay close attention to what I'm telling you guys. Of course, I'll zoom in like always so you can see it, sort of. So we're going to start with a bevel and emboss, and we're going to go with an inner bevel style with a smooth technique. 140% for your depth. The direction is up. The size is 11. The soften is 0. We're going to on the shading, uncheck the use global light. No light is needed. You have a 90 degree angle, 80 degree altitude. Anti-allies is checked off. You have a highlight mode with white and linear light is your style. An opacity of 100%. Then down for your shadow mode, we have linear light yet again. And we have a 68% opacity, but this is going to be a teal color, a teal aqua color. So select this one here. And next we're going to go and add a contour. And it's the same standard contour. It's the linear contour. With a 70% range. And anti-allies is checked off. Inner shadow needs to be your next style. And overlay will be your blend mode with a white color. Opacity is going to be 49%. And we're going to uncheck use global light, none needed, with a negative 90 degree angle. And then we have a 5% pixel for your distance and a 0% choke, an 8% pixel size. And down here, we're going to move down to inner glow. You're going to select, first of all, this very dark teal aqua color right there. And you're going to have a 95% opacity with a blend mode of darken. You're going to select a softer technique with an edge for your source. 0% choke, a 15% pix a 15 pixels for your size. And then the range is 50 and the rest stays the same. Then we're going to move down to satin. You're going to select white for your color. And you're going to have vivid light for your blend mode. 30% opacity, 19 degree angle, 20 pixel distance, and 30 pixel size. You're going to down here on your contour, you're going to select invert, and you're going to choose this one here called Gaussian. That's a preset, by the way, if you didn't notice. It's this one right here. And then we're going to add a color overlay, and this is going to be a very bright aqua color. Select that one right there. You're going to have a blend mode of multiply with an opacity of 75%. We're going to add on here a pattern overlay. And this is um, a pattern, I believe. I think it's in here. Um, 
Maybe it's not. Well, I'll provide this in the description below. It's called Wow Rice Pattern. I don't know if you'll have it or not, but I'll give you in the link below to download in case you don't have it. Um, and that's going to be an opacity of 100%, normal. Um, and this needs to be 110% scale. And link it with the layer if it's not checked off. I can't remember if it always is or not. And last but not least, we're adding a drop shadow. You're going to choose this black color. Well, it's black anyway. Multiply for the blend mode. Um, opacity is 70%. 90 degree angle, no light checked off, a distance of 4, 10% spread, and an 8 pixel size. So then you'll click OK, and you will then have that lovely effect you see there. Pretty neat. It looks like water is just falling from somewhere. Now, um, I wanted to enhance this, so what I did is I added a, another layer. And I added splotches of like water that just dripped or something. And I made these splotches using my um, lasso tool. I just made random like designs that were splotchy. So you can do the same thing if you want, or you cannot either way, it doesn't matter. I just enhanced it that way. And then I applied the same effect we just did to our text layer onto that layer. And that's where I got that. Okay, so that is the lovely water effect you see there. It's simple, it's awesome, it's fun, but if you want to kick it to another notch and another level and turn this into glitter glue, here's how you would add it and turn it into another tutorial. I'm going to add another layer above my text layer, and this is a, another copy layer. And on the other copy layer of my main text layer, I added a pattern that I randomly found in my computer. Um, I assume you guys will have this because it is standard. All right, I use shredded plastic. Now, shredded plastic is, however, in here. I just gotta find it. It's a preset, I swear. Oh yeah, we have more up here. My bad. Strands. You have all these to choose from. Shredded plastic right here. It is, however, a standard. It is a standard Photoshop um, pattern. So if you don't see it automatically in your presets, you'll have to load it. I know it's there, I swear. I loaded all these presets like a few moments ago and found it. I went through my whole list to find the best one to make glitter and glue, and this was the best one I had. So use this and set your opacity down to around 66%, maybe even 65 if you're feeling unlucky with that 66 number. I'm just feeling a bit weird about that. Set your blend mode to overlay, and it gives you like a glittery, gluey kind of like pattern to it so then the color so then of course if you wanted to make your glitter glue a different color you would of course go back to the original layer that we altered before and just change up those aqua colors into, into something that you would like for a glitter glue type of experience but that's it that's my tutorial that's my spiel I've gone on long enough you guys have sat here long enough I probably have bored you guys by now I'm sure most of you have clicked off this video if you stuck around to the end, congratulations, you've made it to the awesome side, but you were awesome anyway. So thank you guys for watching this. If you have any questions about this video or anything in the future or anything at all, comment below or inbox me here, whichever. Or if you follow me on social media, you can ask me questions there too. I'm on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, whatever. All links are below to my social media. Definitely check me out. I'm everywhere you guys are, and I like you guys. You're amazing. You're awesome. Team Awesome is amazing. If you're not a part of Team Awesome, hit subscribe and you will be a team member awesome. Team member of awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to stop blabbing. Bye. See you next week.